The great benefit of level one is to be able to look at a huge number of samples and put them into basic categories for initial population determination, particle population determination. So there, at level one, we're able to say the broad categories of glass-like, metal-like, fiber-like, and uh, really get a handle on what is our predominant particle contaminant. I had fun when I saw people enjoying playing with the instruments. When they had um, their first, they were new to spectroscopy and they had the first time the chance to see an emission spectra from the lips or uh, a Raman spectra and, and finding out uh, what it is, where it's coming from and, and that was really fun for me to see. My uh, vial that I chose, uh, me or your technicians, none of us could find it. And uh, But this is a classic case of what I'm probably going to see uh, in the field, where an inspector might see it, and, uh, and I don't, but we have to isolate it anyway. So as soon as we placed it on the gold filter, it showed up. beginner, like I said, uh, an engineer, and I got pushed into this uh, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm not pushed. I do enjoy it, but uh, yes, a beginner with no lab experience, uh, uh, very little particle experience, and the workshop was very helpful uh, from be beginning to end. Isolated the particle to analyze the particle, yeah, it was great. Yeah, I think we did a great job today in going over the different levels of identification, level one, level two, and level three, and showing the importance of a phased approach to identification.